Hello, my fellow creators. This is Yvette from the Cat Scrappiness Design Team. Today, I'm going to play with some of these beautiful Reindeer Games goodies. I'll be using the Reindeer Games stamp set and coordinating dies, the Reindeer Games sentiment stamp set, and the Reindeer Games double-sided pattern paper. Now, I wanted to highlight these adorable papers, so I thought, what better way than to use one of the sheet load of card sketches? So I'll be using the December 2022 sheet load of card sketch from Call Me Crafty Al. I'll be sure to link all the supplies I used in the description box below, as well as a link to Call Me Crafty Al's channel. This month's sketch actually calls for using 12 by 12 paper. But I decided I wanted to use this beautiful 6x6 paper from Cat Scrappiness Christmas release. So I'll be adapting the sketch just a bit to work with this 6x6 paper. Since this sketch does yield 8 cards, I've chosen 8 pattern papers to use. And as I use each piece of pattern paper, I'll use the flip side to make that the coordinating pattern paper for the card sketch. Let me share real quickly what the sketch looks like. You use one piece of pattern paper for the base part of the sketch and then a second pattern paper for the other part of the sketch. And as far as the element goes, I'll be using some of the stamped and die cut images from the Reindeer Games stamp set. And then for the sentiment strip, I will be using some sentiments from the Reindeer Games Sentiments stamp set. According to the sketch, the larger piece of pattern paper needs to be 3 and 3 quarter inches by 5 inches, and the smaller piece needs to be 2 inches by 6 inches. That is an easy cut to make on the 6 by 6 pattern paper. So I will start by cutting the 2 by 6 inch piece. And then I will scooch this piece of paper over just a bit so that I can cut it at three and three quarters. And then I will turn it and cut it at five inches. And there I have my two pieces of pattern paper for my card. Now let me cut the rest and I will be right back. Let's have some fun and go make this a Merry Christmas for everyone. Merry Christmas for everyone. Merry Christmas for everyone. Now for this month's sketch, Alicia did provide a template for putting your card together. So let me show you real quickly how that works. First, I will be attaching the larger piece of pattern paper to the red mat that I had pre-cut. And then I'll attach the two by six inch piece of pattern paper to the mat I pre-cut for that size. The way this sketch works is you need to attach your two by six inch piece of pattern paper to the mat first, and then you will cut it at two and five eighths inches. So I'm going ahead and cutting this at two and five eighths inches. And now I have my two pieces. Then you can just place it on the template to make sure you have the right placement. So let me just add some adhesive to the back of those pieces, attach them, and then I'll bring in my scissors and cut off the excess. At some point, I lost footage of me stamping the sentiments and the images, but I did use some scrap pieces of white cardstock and stamped all my sentiments and images out, and I colored them and die cut the images as well. So for the sentiment strip, I will be attaching some foam tape just to give it a little bit of dimension, and there you have it one completed card. 
So let me share the eight cards I made using the wonderful Reindeer Games pattern paper, stamped images, and sentiments. I think they turned out beautifully. And using the sheet load of card sketch made these cards come together quickly and easily. Now the little extra pieces did not go to waste. Those pieces of cardstock I put on the inside of the cards to tie them together to the front of the card. So I have my first batch of cards for my annual Christmas card donation for 2023. I hope you enjoyed watching how to use these adorable pattern papers and coordinating stamped images and sentiments. Thanks for sticking around to the end. I'd be thrilled if you subscribed to my YouTube channel or followed me on any of my other social media platforms. As always, have a beautiful, safe, and creative day. Thanks for watching. Bye!